Hello and welcome to All, an airport that shares its runway with the railroad, a multi-billion dollar tunnel that crumbles on its own and collapses on itself, or a pole in the middle of the road. Here are the 10 biggest engineering mistakes of all time. The Big Dig is a network of tunnels built in the city of Boston in the United States, whose primary purpose was to ease traffic flow and reduce traffic jams. Like all cities, Boston was suffering from traffic jams that were literally paralyzing the city center, sometimes for hours on end. It was therefore with great relief that the inhabitants of Boston welcomed this mega construction project, which was intended to relieve their city of congestion. But they were soon to be disappointed, as the construction of the Big Dig was to drag on to the point where it was believed that the tunnels would never be dug to completion. Indeed, due to a more than catastrophic management of this huge construction site, the works which started in 1991 only ended in 2007, that is to say, 16 years later. And the enormous cost of the work is enough to make you dizzy, since the construction of the Big Dig will have swallowed more than $14 billion. But that's not all, because in spite of all this work and astronomical expenses, the Big Dig has been a total urban fiasco, and even more seriously, a real danger for motorists. Indeed, on July 10, 2006, while a car was driving in the tunnel, heavy concrete slabs broke off from the ceiling and crushed a 39-year-old woman to death. This tragic accident caused the closure of this section for a whole year, generating an intolerable inconvenience for motorists. Being a bridge and pavement engineer is certainly not something you can improvise. You would have to have studied hard and spent long and arduous days revising your courses before hoping to finally get your beautiful engineering degree. But it's certain that if you are a slacker and a truant, your chances of becoming a great genius are considerably reduced. And even if you manage to get your master's degree through shenanigans and cheating, reality will always catch up with you. So look at the strange and unusual design of these V-shaped columns and above all, the very place where they are erected. Even if you have no architectural notion, your brain and your reason tell you that this is not the best place to post columns, right? Indeed, these columns planted in the middle of this small footbridge like gigantic sentinels block almost the entire passage, leaving only a small opening to pass to the other side. There is no need to say, the architect who drew the plans of this kindergarten deserves well a dunce hat. We are always told that cycling is very healthy for our body and our health, and we have to admit that in general, it is quite true. Burning tons of calories and preventing bad cholesterol and cardiovascular diseases are indeed part of the benefits of the good old bicycle. But you still have to be careful when you pedal, because you never really know what the road conditions are. Take a look at this literally surreal image which shows us an old bicycle path, or at least what is left of it. This track, probably sulked by cyclists for a long time, was probably designed by an urban engineer with narrow ideas and a cramped mind. How else to explain the narrowness and the exiguity of this line, where the cyclist can fall into the canal at the slightest mistake? Imagine that you are quietly driving your car on the highway while listening to good music on your radio. You are driving with all the windows open since it is summer and you really want to enjoy the nice breeze that caresses your face. You respect the speed limits and the rules of the road because you are not one of those who confuse fast and furious with real life, so you have nothing to worry about. But suddenly, before your stunned eyes, you see an incongruous object right in front of you on the road. You rub your eyes, but the vision does not disappear. You are not delusional and you are not suffering from any hallucination. But what you see from your windshield hallucinates you to the highest point, because in the middle of the road, a genuine and enormous electric pole stands in front of you. The history of the modern world still has some unfathomable mysteries, and the reason for the presence of this lamppost on your stretch of highway is certainly one of them. You'll probably never know who planted that pole, or for what reason, so you do the simplest and most logical thing you can do. You drive around this strange obstacle, and you continue on your way your mind elsewhere and your head full of questions that will remain forever unanswered. No one can really imagine living in a high-rise apartment without a proper balcony, and not just a loggia or a small window in disguise. Because in the high-rise building, one can quickly feel suffocated by the millions of cubic meters of reinforced concrete that overhang us, and having an opening to the outside world allows us to avoid this unpleasant feeling to say the least. We still remember that during the first world containment due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it was the balconies that allowed people to meet for unforgettable musical evenings. Architecturally speaking, balconies are nothing more than platforms that emerge from the wall of a building, and their construction does not require long and tedious calculations. A simple plan on AutoCAD or any other computer-aided drawing software can largely do the trick, and there is no need to be a Leonardo da Vinci to carry out this simple exercise. However, on this literally surreal image, 
you can see some balconies that are a bit special and that certainly have no chance of passing the safety standards. One thing is sure, this is not the kind of romantic balcony you were hoping for in your future apartment. We can only congratulate the engineers and architects who work to facilitate the daily life of the disabled and people with reduced mobility. Through their various urban works, they tend to make the existence of this category of individuals a little less hard and contribute greatly to their well-being within society. But it is also said that the road to hell is paved with good intentions, and it sometimes happens that a solution that was intended to help you and simplify your life only harms you and makes it even more difficult. Take a look at this masterpiece of architectural stupidity, or how an architect manages to create a giant slide for wheelchairs. This blue painted death trail looks more like a ski jump than a corridor for disabled people. With its steep slope and very slippery ground, we can imagine in which pitiful state you can find yourself if you ever use it. The non-respect for traffic rules, and especially of traffic lights, remains until now the first cause of road accidents. Indeed, if all drivers in the world decided to respect these elementary safety rules, we could reduce by more than 90% the risk of serious accidents. But fortunately, there are still a lot of sensible drivers who drive carefully and respect the rules of the road. You will never see these people committing traffic violations or running a red light. Finally, when it is visible, of course. But how the hell are we supposed to stop at a stop sign if it is hidden by a huge obstacle? Look at this incongruous location of this traffic light, which is hidden behind a pedestrian bridge. No motorist will ever be able to see this red light, which is therefore strictly useless and which was probably designed by an engineer with the head for heights. Now you can understand why some places have more accidents than others. Don Quixote used to fight windmills because he saw them as fierce and bloodthirsty giants set on earth by evil magicians. But today, those who fight against windmills do so for a completely different reason and it has nothing to do with the medieval chivalry novel. Indeed, the detractors of these huge towers with propellers and turbines castigate the numerous disadvantages of these installations, such as the unbearable noise they generate, as well as the complexity and the cost of their installation. In addition, a wind turbine which can measure more than 150 meters high with its blades certainly does not go unnoticed in the middle of a field or a meadow. And the visual pollution of these steel masts considerably alters the natural beauty of the panoramas of our countryside. But that's not all because there is another important disadvantage and that the manufacturers and other industrialists of the wind turbine would like you to never know. Because by the very nature of their architectural structure, wind turbines are subject to permanent cyclic loads. This means that even very small cracks in the supporting mass can develop and lead inexorably to the fall of the turbine. This kind of serious incident is not that rare and the event in the German village of Kurtorf is a good reminder. An 11-year-old wind turbine tower broke at the height of 25 meters, throwing the rest of the mast and the blades more than 50 meters below. Fortunately, the collapse of the wind turbine did not cause any casualties, but the toll could have been quite heavy, since the area shelters a path very frequented by the villagers. This is the strangest and most unusual airport you will probably ever see, and its originality does not lie in its architecture or in the number of planes that land there every day but rather by a curious peculiarity, to say the least. The Gisborne Airfield in New Zealand shares its runway with a railroad track. It is therefore not uncommon to see a train passing on the runway while your plane is about to take off or land. The airport control tower must then deal with the locomotive drivers in order to coordinate all the traffic on the runway, which is not an easy task, as you can well imagine. But in spite of its 150,000 annual passengers, Gisborne Airfield does not deplore any noticeable incident and thus remains one of the wackiest airports in the world. The Hallensas Tunnel is a railway tunnel dug under the Hallensas Horst in Sweden and was opened to the public in December 8, 2015. The structure consists of two tubes about 8,700 meters long and allows a considerable shortening of the route at the railway line Vaskusbanan, connecting the city of Malmo to Gothenburg. The construction of this imposing work of art had begun in 1992 but the technical difficulties related to the nature of the rock and the infiltration of water had considerably lengthened the duration of the building site. The engineers of this pharaonic project were thus forced to test new methods and techniques of construction in order to carry it out. But they were far from suspecting that by doing so, they were going to cause a real ecological and sanitary disaster. Indeed, in 1997, a product used in the construction site and which is used to reinforce the waterproofing ended up reaching a water table by infiltrating in the ground. This led to a serious contamination of the local fauna and flora, while also affecting the health of more than 20 workers. 
The Hallensas Tunnel is now operational and certainly allows to shorten the travel time, but the ecological bill is finally very expensive. And that's it for today. What do you think about these 10 monumental mistakes of incompetent engineers? Which one of them shocked you the most? Tell us in the comments, and if you like this video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe and activate the notifications. See you soon for new discoveries out of the ordinary.